Will, what is your topic? Okay, so I had a I, I've had a few in my back pocket that I've been saving, and this one that I picked this week was one that I threw out with a haste because me being me, I forgot to tell Travis earlier. So he's like, "Yo, I need your fucking topic, bro," and I was like, "Okay, here's one." Uh, picking a musical artist or performance group to write the soundtrack for your life or a theme song for your life or something. And in okay. my head, I went two ways. Uh, one is my wrestling fandom answer, which would be Jim Johnson. The the sound of the Attitude Era, the man who did all the themes that we know and love from WWE in the 90s. I was like, fuck yeah, let's have Jim Johnson come in and write my theme song. But then I was also like, okay, let's think of a real musical answer. And it was the RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan. And the reason why is because he curated and did all the music for the Wu-Tang Saga on Hulu. And it was okay. all original beats inspired from the Wu-Tang Clan itself. And I was like, so fucking talented. And it was the perfect mix of like rock and East Coast hip hop and electronic that I was like, that really fits my aesthetic. Because I've always, those are my three big genres. I've always been a big fan of East Coast hip hop. I've always been a fan of electronic and I've always been a fan of rock. Um, so for me, I was like, let's have the RZA do it from the Wu-Tang uh, Clan. Let's have the RZA curate the theme song for my life. I'm All back. Right. Hi, Travis. So we're doing Will's topic. Okay. If they catch you up, and, I said, uh, yeah. my, my two would, I said my wrestling fandom, Jim Johnson. The, the the sound of the Attitude Era, the guy who did all the themes from the Attitude Era we all know and love. Um, and then I said, but my real world answer would be the RZA from the Wu-Tang Clan. Because when I watched the Wu-Tang Saga from Hulu about the origins of the group, he, he did all the music and it was inspired by stuff he wrote with Wu and inspired by like what he was doing when they were writing the show. And I was like, I think that that's why I was talking about the perfect blend of like the East Coast hip hop feel, electronic and rock. So the RZA, I would have him curate my uh, my theme song and my my soundtrack for my life. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I kind of with you with your answer from RZA, I kind of went the same way. So um, I don't know if people know this, but if you know me, you know this. Uh, my favorite band for pretty much my entire life has been Corn, and Corn has worked with Nas. They have worked with them franchise boys. They have worked with Ice Cube. They have worked with uh, Tech Nine, like specifically Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis has scored movies. Um, so everything that Corn is about, whether it is it is you know new metal, uh, rap, rock. They've even gotten into like they did some dubstep stuff and worked with dubstep artists for. Their musical, while they are who they are, and I love Jonathan Davis's voice and their sound, they step out of their comfort zone. They do all these things, and everything they do is fantastic. So, uh, a soundtrack to my life, or a, a theme song, if I were to ever be a professional wrestler to walk out on stage, that is who I would want to compose um, for me. Would be specifically Jonathan Davis, but the band Corn recording it. I feel you. I feel you. Mine is going to go in a bit of a different direction because I like to believe in most cases I'm, I'm much more chill. And <clears throat> when I think of somebody that's chill as fuck and who I also enjoy, the natural answer to me is the Snoop Deal double G. Mm-hmm. Now, that makes sense. Coming a mile away. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> like, if there's a person that is going to make the soundtrack to Travis's life, it would have to be Snoop. That's just how it is, it's how it's going to be. That's what it is. Now, if it's one specific song, though, that already exists that I want, you know, I've said this before, but it's Nelly, Here Comes the Boom. Like, that's that's that, that would be my shit for like an entrance music for that. It's Nelly, Here Comes the Boom. But, like, if I'm just needing an artist to put together a soundtrack for me and how I'm feeling, what I'm what I'm doing with my life, it would be Snoop. So that's how it is for me. I do have a little treat for you because apparently, you know, Mara decided she wanted to contribute. Hmm. So we got her answer here as well. If I had to choose 
a musician to compose the soundtrack to my life, I'd probably want a collaboration between Juicy J and Meg the Stallion. I just okay. I would it's love an interesting to combo. come together <laughs> it to be my soundtrack because those are what I listen to to get my day going. <laughs> So she wants her soundtrack to have that nasty shit. I got you. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's I'm that was hundred percent what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's. I was not expecting that, but I, I get it. I get it, but I did not expect it from Mara. <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting, but once she said it, I was not surprised at all. Like, <laughs> just one of those things. Like yeah, yeah, that's what she was. One hundred percent. See it. I get it. <laughs> 